Now we'll go to Mr. Rosendale from Montana. You're up for five minutes. Thank you, Chairman Stauber, and thank you for uh, holding this hearing on the budgets for OSMRE and the United States Geological Survey, and thank both the witnesses for showing up today. It's crucial for Montanas that the federal agencies are benefiting our constituents rather than threatening their livelihoods. Under Biden, OSMRE has shown that they are more focused on radical climate agenda than serving the citizens who actually pay their salaries. <clears throat> Ms. Machina, um, this is basically a, a budget hearing, and so while we talk about a lot of policy issues, I do want to get directly to the spending. And while your request for your budget is $304 million, that is not a true reflection of your total spend. And, and the American people that are out here listening, once again, as I did last week, need to understand that... Uh, this is becoming, unfortunately, the norm for all of the agencies that are coming in here. They say, we're only requesting $304 million, uh, when in reality, you're going to be spending about, according to my calculations, $1.58 billion for 2025. Uh, that seems to utilize roughly $1.2 billion from the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. Uh, so... This is something that we're not even having discussions about because it's not falling under the request by the $304 million. But of that, 1.58, uh, 11.3 billion over the, over the next several years is dedicated exclusively for salaries, of which 22.6 million a year is set aside for, for salaries. Um, and again, the American people, uh, they need to understand that. In addition to that, isn't it true that these funds are also going to be used for economic revitalization, um, such as advanced manufacturing and renewable energy deployment? Congressman, I'm glad you brought that up because those funds that you are referring to um, are the funds that uh, were um, directly provided to OSMRE through the bipartisan infrastructure law. And what the agency OSMRE is able to do with that really once in a lifetime investment is help communities. I, we are look, working here, here's, in here's where I am. Here's what my obligation is. When I have an agency head come in and say, I'm requesting $304 million and act like that is what is your budget, uh, how much it's going to be. Um, and we hear from my colleagues on the other side of the aisle about these dramatic cuts that these agencies are going to have to experience. When you take the total money that you're going to be receiving from the IIJA, you, you actually, at $11.3 billion, if you didn't accept any funds, appropriated funds, none, zero, you would actually be able to fund your agency for 37 years. 37 years if there weren't any additional appropriated funds. And when you take the appropriated funds and you add that with the IIJA funds that you're going to be bringing in, it actually increases your request by fivefold. It's five times the amount that you're, you're going to be appropriated and budgeted. So there's a lot of money that's going to be spent there that this body doesn't have much to say over uh, in, in any given year. The well, OSMRE, excuse me, the OSRME has recently further delayed the proposed completion dates of the EISs or supplemental EISs for Montana mines of Bull Mountain, Spring Creek, and Rosebud. These delays have pushed the EIS completion dates beyond the point where the mines have enough permitted coal to continue their operation. OSMRE continues these delays contrary to the representations they have made in federal courts, risking serious economic destruction to Montana. So, when will your agency complete the required NEPA process for these delayed actions in Montana for Rosebud Area F, EIS, uh, that your agency estimated the completion date for April 2025? That date is 18 months after the original estimate of November 2023, and four months after the court-mandated date of January 2025. 
when the court will vacate the Rosebud's entire Area F plan, leaving Rosebud no remedy. So when, when do we, can we expect the NEPA process to be completed? Congressman, I would be remiss if I did not flag that most of the money you are identifying are direct, um, those, that is funds that are going to the states. Uh, and in fact, it's over $10 billion uh, that are funds that are going to the states but and the local But up to 3% of the amounts made available under this uh, heading in this act shall be for salaries. They're, I'm just reading from the text. I, so when can we expect the EIS and the NEPA process to be completed for the mines of Montana? Well, the bill money's not helping with that, uh, but we are working diligently. We intend to comply with the law, and we are working the diligently says, to meet those applicable deadlines. Mr. Chair, if you would just, just give me one more moment. The law says that you're supposed to have it completed by January of 2025, and you're already saying that Area F EIS is going to be completed in April of 2025. So you're already telling us that you're four months beyond the, the date ordered by the court. Our intent is to comply with the law and we're doing all that we can to do so. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I yield back. All right. <clears throat>